have brought the swamp to the studio. Christy Morcom is here with the Wildlife World Zoo. This, I've got to tell you guys, I'm really not afraid of many things. I've held snakes before. Little munchkin here is making me kind of nervous. So you would never know. You have a good grip on him. Thank you. You look very confident. Yeah, well, he feels like an ice cube as well. So I don't know. I was asking, do you put him in a little seatbelt when you're traveling with him? So he travels in a nice, safe kennel. Okay. That way he's comfortable and he's safe if anything were to happen. How long is he right now? So he's not that long. He's just a little over a couple of feet. Okay, but they can get up to 15 feet? They can. Now that's going to be in the wild and that's pretty rare. Typically your males are going to average about 12 feet and females will tend to be a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you look, part of that length, a good portion of it is made up of that tail. Yeah. And that tail serves a couple of purposes. So it's laterally compressed, meaning it's long and flat. They're going to use that tail to propel their bodies through the water, mm -hmm. but they'll also use it for self-defense. So if they grab oh, really? a prey, they will whip that tail clear up to the front of their nose and stun that animal. Or if someone's bothering them, they can use it. Pretty powerful. Very, isn't it's it pure very strong. Muscle. The other thing that's really powerful, are, look at this grill on this guy. <laughs> very interesting. So they'll lose a lot of teeth throughout their lifetime and they continue to grow? Yeah, that's correct. So they're like sharks. They can uh, lose thousands of teeth within their lifetime. They have about 75 to 80 teeth in their mouth at any given time. And every time they lose a tooth, another tooth grows back in their place. And Alligators, you tend to see all of their top teeth and none of their lower teeth, except when they're small like this. You can still kind of see some of his bottom teeth, but as, as adults, that's a good way to tell the difference. Mm -hmm. And then crocodiles, you can usually see both upper teeth and bottom teeth and the snout. Yeah, what? Is, so that's what the main difference is between alligators and crocodiles. Yeah, so alligators. You'd have be more able of to a, spot them from a mile away and tell the difference. I if would I was just wearing run. glasses. <laughs> But the alligators have a rounded snout, kind of like a U-shape, where okay. crocodiles have more of a pointed shaped snout, like a little V-shape. Mm -hmm. So I told you, I once lived in South Carolina, and alligator hunting is big there because there's actually an overgrown population. Um, and they would sit in the water, and you can actually tell how large the alligator is based off of the space between their eyes. Yeah. So they lurk underneath the water, and then you could tell. And if that it was makes a big complete one. sense because their eyes do grow with them and their eyes, their nose, and their ears, which are the little slits behind their eyes, are all located on the top of their head. And that's so when they're lurking through the water, their body's concealed and just the top of their head's mm -hmm. above the water so they can still see, smell, and hear. And so we mentioned, I said, I said, would he take my hand? And she said, no, you would just be a little bloody. So we would, we, I would survive a little attack, but he's pretty chill. Yeah, he's really relaxed. You're holding him perfectly, so he's comfortable. Awesome. Christy, what's going on at the Wildlife World Zoo? Oh my gosh, we are coming into can zoo I, season. It can is I give him back absolutely the best time of the year to come out. The weather's amazing. We always have something new going on, including lots of babies with over 6,000 animals. Oh, and we've got something special coming up in a couple of weeks. Yes. We're here with you every other Monday, and we've got some little babies coming. I won't spoil the surprise. Thank you so much. Yeah, oh my gosh, thank you. Oh, and he's, my hands are as cold as ice. He was very good. Munchkin.